going and then I'm gonna start that rundown. Yeah? What's up guys? All right, so I am Skylar Davis here at Culture Shock Clothing and Records, uh, also cultureshockshop.com. So for your locals, uh, you can find, you know, our records here are going to be out for Record Store Day this Saturday, June 18th at 8 a.m. But they are first come, first serve. Uh, if you're not familiar with Record Store Day, uh, Record Store Day is a group that's been putting out a bunch of different records, typically twice a year, that you can only get at independently owned record stores. So that's what's really special about them. It's like usually a one-time printing or pressing or a different variation of a record. And first come, first serve. Once they're gone, they're gone. A lot of these are very collectible. Uh, on top of this rundown, which I'm going to show you all the records we have that are getting released for the weekend, we're also celebrating Culture Shock's 16-year anniversary. So a huge thank you to everyone who's been a huge supporter of us over the years and to all the new people who are still finding us uh, as like a customer appreciation sale. All shirts, including our new shirts and our vintage and used shirts are gonna be buy one, get one half price, plus thousands and thousands, all of our used records are also gonna be buy one, get one half price. Uh, so that's here at Culture Shock, 2239 Charles Street in Rockford, Illinois, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, June 18th. Uh, I wanna jump into the record store day records so though let's talk about that that's mainly what this video is for so you know what we got and how many of each piece most of these are lps they're all alphabetized a to z and then soundtracks compilations are at the end we do have a couple little tchotchkes though to mention before the lps there's some cassettes uh the keith richards live at uh live 88 the hollywood palladium a double from keith richards or rolling stones two cassette we only got one of those the Billy uh, Gibbons Hardware CD. It comes in this metal cool box with this hot rod on the front. Just two of those. Uh, Larry Mullins and Mike Watt, one seven inch. I'm gonna mention the quantities, maybe a couple details about each record as I fly through. Hailstorm, Back from the Dead. I didn't know this was gonna be, I forgot actually, this was gonna be this die cut. It's like this tombstone, but it's actually like a single die cut though. It's not a round record. So very cool kind of die cut record. We got four of those. The album Leaf, Past and Future Tense. This is three copies of those. So these are both double, L, or double LP on color vinyl and 180 gram, nice heavy duty vinyl. Three of those. Hassan Ibn Ali, uh, Retrospect and Retirement, solo recordings. Uh, this is uh, Poetic Version, Imagination, Post Bop. Uh, this is a cool, cool jazz piece in a little box set and there's a lot of notes and extras on that. It looks like it's a four record box set. Only one of those. A lot of these things are one or two of, but then certain things we have, you know, up to 30 copies of. Bebop Deluxe, Live at the Air, 77, double, sorry, triple LP. Only one of those, too. Great jazz piece. This is this obscure jazz piece uh, from the Bobby Hamilton Quintet, Unlimited, Dream Queen, uh, he played in like Syracuse, New York, I think like that in the 60s and 70s. Uh, it's like a, you know, playing restaurants and bars and different events, uh, but was never signed to a major label. And his band made this record, only 500 copies originally, kind of as a calling card uh, for the band. They never got signed or distributed though, unfortunately, to a major label. Original pressings of that are over $1,000. It's a cool, very kind of chill, you know, kind of spiritual jazz piece. Super cool that they, uh, now again, record label has reissued these. Uh, we have, I forgot the amount because we have some overstock under here. I think we have 12 of these though. Uh, that's just a really great jazz piece. Cool to see the variety of rock, jazz, hip hop, and other things coming out. Uh, this is a limited edition orange vinyl of Life's a Riot with Spy vs. Spy from Billy Bragg. Uh, that had been a 30th anniversary, I believe, on that. Just one of those. The brand new heavies. I believe this is color vinyl, also 30th anniversary edition. Uh, this is the brand new Heavy's Heavy Rhyme Experience Volume 1, uh, featuring gangsta collaborations with Farside, Gangstar, Main Source, Cool G Rap. Uh, this is on orange vinyl from Kraft Recordings. We have three of those. Uh, Alphabetize the Paul Butterfield Blues Band. This is a triple LP also. So a lot of stuff you haven't seen getting released before coming out uh, first time on vinyl for this with some unreleased tracks from the Paul Butterfield Blues Band from originally on Electra record, Electra Records. So there are six of those. Ray Charles, we have all these out here, right? Yes. I think we just have two of this one then. So this is a double LP on opaque gold vinyl. Uh, this is his duets with Natalie Cole, Elton John, Nora Jones, B.B. King. 
uh, Ray Charles Genius Loves Company. A really cool piece there with a lot of different artists. There are two of those, Collective Soul 25th Anniversary. This is also from Craft Records. And this is on translucent red vinyl. We have, what, five of those you saying? Four of those? Kind of know most of those. So moving on from the C's, now we're into the D's. Miles Davis. This is a really cool Miles Davis live piece because this is from an era of Miles Davis you don't often hear much of because he was really more known in the 60s. Of course, a lot of 70s stuff too. This is What is Montreal? Recorded in 7-7 of 83. So this is kind of, you can tell, you know, he's looking a little different, kind of the more far out, funky, uh, jazz rock Miles Davis. This features John Schofield on guitar. It's got Bill Evans, Daryl Jones, uh, and Al Foster on drums. But this is a very cool piece because it's like jazz fusion, rock and roll jazz. I mean, this is a, a cool far out jazz piece from an era that you don't usually see a lot of records of Miles Davis from. Double LP, a really cool release, never been released before at all. Uh, we have 15 of those, so hopefully if you you know get here rather early, you'll be able to score those. Uh, there's been a lot of Dio picture discs coming out here over the last few years too. Uh, this is a double dose of Donington, 83 and 87 on a picture disc. We have three of those. Fats Domino, only one of these. This is uh, Here Comes Fats Domino on virgin vinyl and violet, violet color hand numbered. Oh, cool. So this looks like it's number 631 of 1500. So this is actually hand numbered with pen and ink. Uh, a lot of these are limited to, you know, a couple thousand copies. Some, there's more though. Some some have, you know, 10 or 15,000, but there's a handful that they only made, you know, 500 or a thousand copies too. Uh, Peter Gabriel, Live Blood with the New Blood Orchestra. This is a triple LP, half speed mastered, comes with download, all that good stuff. We have five of those. Of course, Peter Gabriel of Genesis, but there's a long solo career from that man too. Ragged But Right, this is the Jerry Garcia acoustic band. You know, there's often either some Jerry Garcia or Grateful Dead related release on record store day, it seems like. This is the first time on vinyl for this. There were 7,500 copies made. We have 15 available here at Culture Shock for Saturday. Uh, this was recorded live in 87 at the Warfield Theaters. Uh, of course, a lot of bluegrass and folk and psychedelic uh, people are going to be into that piece. Uh, 15 of those. This is a really fun indie band, kind of electronic band. The Go Team, Proof, Proof of Youth, excuse me. 15 year anniversary. This is on bubblegum color vinyl. Uh, so a lot of these are on fun, different color vinyl, limited releases. Uh, just some cool variety of obscure bands and different things. Uh, green Sleeves, Ganja Anthems. Uh, I actually am going to throw this down with the uh, various artists, but that's a cool reggae comp. Steve Hackett, the Tokyo Tapes, a uh, great prog rock artist. First time on white vinyl. This was recorded in Japan in December of 96, oh, featuring John Wetton, of course. So you're going to find a lot of prog fans or fans of, you know, Steve Hackett's other bands or even King Crimson and stuff like that. You've got some, a lot of different members, Ian McDonald, Chester Thompson, Julian Colbeck, uh, is this, a tr this is heavy. This, yeah, I was like, this must be a triple LP. So a lot of these songs are probably really long extended jams. Uh, really cool piece. We only have, I think there's only two of those. Linda Hoover. Here's another record with just a really great background, a great story. Uh, Linda Hoover, I Mean to Shine. This was actually recorded, is it possible? Fif is it 50? It can't be that long. Is it 40 years ago? It might be 50 years ago. Jeez. Whew, 70 wow that's over 50 years ago this was recorded so linda hoover um kind of more of a folk artist or whatever just a great singer too was backed by members of steely dan pre-steely dan uh produced by gary katz uh, donald fagan and walter becker wrote some of the songs with stephen stills and richard manuel this had never been released this is finally getting released so that's the really interesting story on this so i think a lot of fans have just Older music, folk music, and jazz rock and other things like that will be interested to find this piece. Linda Hoover, never before released. Of course, Steely Dan fans might be very interested in that. We only have three of those. Uh, Otto, uh, Otto Kentrell featuring Faceless No Mistakes. This is the recorded studio work of Bill Yetalo <laughs> and Otis Kentrell. Uh, this is uh, hard to find post-punk and no wave cuts. Uh, some unreleased stuff. 
Uh, so very interesting kind of uh, modern harmonic records put this out. They've done a lot of obscure jazz, obscure psychedelic, and you know a lot of other kind of interesting pieces. There's just one of those. This is a 45 cut of the Kinks Waterloo Sunset. Uh, so it's a six track actually 12 inch single they're considering. It's like an EP on yellow vinyl, limited edition of some early Kinks stuff on the Pi label. There are six of those. Moving down to the M's now. Moving right along to Madness, Baggy Trousers. Uh, this is their EP with six tracks put together for the first time uh, as a Record Store Day exclusive. We have three of those from Madness. Uh, Esther Morrow, I love another label that I really like the music from is Craft Records. They do such a great job of like high quality pressings, typically all analog mastering. So this is kind of an audiophile piece because Kevin Gray has done a lot of audiophile work with different fidel high fidelity labels and mobile fidelity. Uh, Esther Morrow, this is a soul gem back on vinyl for the first time since 1972. So 50 years old, all-star lineup of uh, Bernard Purdy, Cornell Dupree, and Chuck Rainey. Uh, it's kind of like a jazz soul R&B piece. Uh, Esther Morrow, Sister Woman, we have two of those. So everyone's alphabetized under their last name. This is this is this is a Victor Vaughn release, but we're putting this in M's because this is MF Doom, kind of a side project that he put together. Really cool. I can't even call him an underground hip hop artist because it seems like every other there's so many hip hop artists that cite him as an influence. Uh, he should have been you know a lot more well known in his days. Uh, but this is the vaudeville villain. Uh, even though you know it has been reissued a couple times, they're very hard to find. So they're doing a record store day release from Get On Down Records. Uh, I think we have. 15 copies of this one. Uh, Victor Von MF Doom though. Uh, this is kind of, MF Doom kind of created this whole kind of rap world of like comics and villains and stuff like that. So he's just got great wordplay, great beats. Uh, definitely recommend checking out MF Doom. Uh, Nicki Minaj's album, Beam Me Up Scotty. This is a double LP also. Uh, first time on vinyl for that. A limited release. We have four copies of that available. My Morning Jacket. This is a live from the RCA studio, Jim James doing an acoustic set. Uh, this we have four copies of, and it may or may not, oh no, it is on black vinyl. Okay, I was like, sometimes there are some of these that surprise me, they will be on color vinyl, but without being labeled. Really interested to hear this piece too, another kind of cool, kind of more of like a psychedelic garage rock band, The Night Beats. This is live at Valentine, live recording sessions, uh, 180 gram vinyl featuring songs from four of their albums, Who Sold My Generation, Sonic Bloom, H-Bomb, and Outlaw R&B. Uh, so that would be probably a great live album from them. We have six of those. Uh, let's see here. What did I go from? Night Beats. Looks like there's some MF Doom mixed up back here. Uh, we on, are we on P? The H-I-J-K L-M-N-O-P? There's no O's. Here's the big one. Got a lot of people asking about this one, but this was supposed to be out in April. It's also funny because I've noticed some of these stickers have the April date, even though they got pushed to June 18th. This is Pearl Jam, Live on Two Legs. This is like probably, you know, one of their, from their 98 Yield Tour. And, oh, it, they're clear vinyl. I didn't realize that. Did you know that? It's clear vinyl. So double LP on clear vinyl gatefold packaging. Uh, just a great live tour from Pearl Jam. A great sounding album if you haven't heard it yet. Uh, obviously, a lot of Pearl Jam fans looking for that. We are lucky enough to have gotten 30 copies of that one. So we got quite a few, but doesn't mean you shouldn't get here early anyway. This one I'm very excited about, Prince, The Gold Experience. This one also we got 15 copies of. I would have been disappointed if they didn't put it on gold vinyl being as that it's The Gold Experience, but double LP, it is on gold vinyl. Let's just call it yellow gold, but I thought it'd be opaque gold. But this is a great Prince album. Came out in 95 though. Uh, it's got the stickers on here that come off. I don't remember if there was even much artwork. There's so much confusion with Prince going as the artist formerly known as and stuff like that for a while and using the symbol. But this has, uh, I can't say it on here. This this has P control they're calling it, you know, instead of a, a man's body part, a woman's body part, P control. It's, it's just a great song. It's just like a very <laughs> sexual song and everything else. Just how Prince was with a lot of his songs. Uh, double LP, the fourth side features a, a bunch of remixes of, oh, I forgot what song. But anyway, uh, just a great album, honestly. I just love it. Even the song, shh, I mean, just the way 
it's so it's just like uh, I guess I can't say that again like the Saturday Night Live spoof of uh my junk in a box I feel like they're making reference to this song just because of the way it is um it's just a great this is Prince at his peak persona sexuality stuff like that so the gold experience finally getting released we have 15 copies of that uh, again, some of these, once they sell out, they're just gone. Some things may get reissued in the future. You're not, you know, you're never, you never know if they will, but if they do, it'd probably be different variants or versions. So if you want these versions, get in and get them. I might have failed to mention earlier, if you can't make it in this Saturday, June 18th, right? Sunday, June 19th at 8 a.m., go to cultureshockshop.com. Anything still available will be available for online purchase. So check that out. Uh, so this is also really cool to see these numberings. This is a 1970 release by legendary Detroit R&B garage band, The Rationals. Only 1,200 copies. We only got one. There, I think there's over 1,200 stores now that are part of Record Store Day. So it's hard to get our hands on some of these. That's why it's the luck of the draw. But this is number 1106 of 2000. It's gold stamp numbered. Really cool kind of reissue of a, of a piece. Uh, lavender color vinyl. The Rationals, The Residents. This is a uh, warning, live and experimental recordings from 71 to 72. It's pretty much all black. It just says uh, preserved on the bottom. They got that hype sticker, luckily, to let you know what it is. Double LP, we have one of those. The Slash Live. This is live at the studio with uh, Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. Here's the Slash double LP live only two of these two a lot of these are are pretty limited to just a few pieces the bluegrass sound of Ralph Stanley and the Clinch Mountain Boys so uh, it's really cool to see just a huge variety of music from rock hip-hop jazz even a bluegrass piece just one of those uh, Sun signature gosh I forgot who who is in this even this is uh, members of another 90s group but Sun signature check that out i know it's good i listened to it i just forgot it's so obscure it might have never been out on vinyl even honestly might be the first time ever so we got three of those uh surfboard keep on trucking one of those there's a, a big variety of labels that are part of this too it's not just the major labels there's a lot of small and independent labels the band sweet a lot of people know them for fox on the run and some other songs like that ballroom blitz is a lot of their big songs this is Platinum and Rare Volume 2, a uh, two-disc exclusive collection of dozens of rare versions, outtakes, and demos on metallic silver vinyl, 4,500 copies, uh, just a great rock band, kind of power pop band sometimes too. Um, a lot of kraut rock and electronic rock fans probably know Tangerine Dream. Uh, this is one of their early albums. This is Alpha Centauri. Uh, on clear vinyl, cut at Abbey Road Studios with a bonus 12-inch EP. So this is a very early Tangerine Dream piece, uh, German group, kind of uh, proggy, electronic, kraut rock. This is a live at Reem Cinema Opera on color vinyl. I like how it shows you it's on the purple and orange, or blue and orange, I should say. Double LP, recorded live in 75. Uh, I've noticed another couple other Tangerine Dream albums and some previous releases that have come out, some live stuff too. We have five of each of those. They're both on color vinyl. Uh, here's another cool kind of obscure one. This is a 1989 prog rock thrash classic from Voivod, Nothing Face. And they did this on kind of matches the cover with that little robot brain looking dude. Kind of this pink with a little splatter color to it. This is a very overlooked thrash band, and I think you need to listen to them if you're into thrash music. I mean, you could be into anything from Rush to Metallica to Megadeth or Primus, I think, and be into them. Uh, because they're thrash metal, but they kind of speak talk with some of it and just kind of jump around in a way that Primus does. But essentially, it's still thrash metal. Cool band. A lot of people might know them because, what, Jason Newstead was in the band for a while, too. Uh, so that's Voivod. I've been looking for this forever, by the way. Originals, for some reason, always sell for over $100. So get it while you can, because it is a great record. We have a dozen of them because I didn't want to sell out. I ordered as many as we could, and that's all we got. Uh, Warrior Soul, first time on vinyl, demos and unreleased tracks by Warrior Soul, limited edition, red and blue vinyl, 2,200 copies. Odds and ends from Warrior Soul. Woo! We got the 
MCR fans here, right? Looking for that. Uh, obviously, a lot of MCR fans probably already know about this album. Maybe other people don't. Gerard Way, uh, Hesitant Alien. This is a Record Store Day exclusive on Blue Vinyl. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking that that'll be a, a one a lot of people are looking for. We have six copies of that. Barry White, No Limit on Love. This is actually on Gold Vinyl. Uh, yeah, good kind of soul piece. The Who, It's Hard, 40th Anniversary, Half Speed Mastering. This does come with a poster, I think, inside too. Double LP on orange and yellow vinyl, 40th Anniversary. Um, so yeah, there's a really cool, kind of a nice elaborate packaging for this and colored vinyl. There's four of those. Uh, Wolf Party, Wolf Party, World Party exclusive. This was curated by the fine folks at Indie Record Store. So fans of the band World Party who work at record stores put together this compilation. We only got one of these. I think that was a pretty limited piece as well. Young Holt Unlimited doing Superfly. Now we're into the soundtracks. Um, so we've got the Superfly soundtrack. Only one of those, Royal Tenenbaums. This is, uh, wow, so many good songs on here. You got Bob Dylan, Nick Drake, Emmett Rhodes, The Clash, Ramones, uh, Velvet Underground. It's like, I just named like 10 of my favorite bands there probably. Uh, this is on Sky Blue and Olive Green Vinyl, the Royal Tenenbaums movie, just wild, wild fun movie. Uh, and of course there is some original music on here too by Mike M Mark Mothersbird, Fog, or whatever, of Devo. Uh, Wes Anderson film that's just amazing. So definitely check out that film if you haven't. But the soundtrack, if you're after that, we only have 10 copies of that. Uh, the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Uh, this is original motion picture score. So well, I'm not even a fan of the movie. The score is probably awesome. Uh, orange and black vinyl, only one of those. 50 years of TV's greatest hits. Here's another one, it's on splatter color vinyl. Uh, all sorts of, you know, anything from the Little Rascals to Charlie's Angels to Miami Vice and Full House even. So uh, big TV watchers, whatever, gonna be interested in that. There's only one of those. This brings me back to buying CDs at Media Play or getting compilations from friends to find out about new bands. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead, punk. Make my day. This is punk rock punk rock anthems of the 90s. There's the Vandals, Guttermouth, uh, AFI, of course, Offspring. I loved these punk compilations, and they were always on CD because they're all 90s pieces, which there was hardly any vinyl getting made. This is on splatter, orange splatter vinyl. Uh, we only have four of those. Jetstar, so here, now we're getting into some, let me just kind of show off these compilations. So Jetstar, this is a 60s kind of soul comp. Really cool compilations of uh, some reggae, rock steady, ska soul. This is 100% dynamite from Soul Jazz Records. Try to turn. Oh, here's the Pinup Girls one too. Love to love all the classic, classic ladies of music. Kind of a Pinup Girls comp of these sultry female singers. Uh, the Studio One, of course, Soul Jazz Records put this out too. Just a great reggae label. Did a lot of, a lot of recordings in that studio. Uh, Johnny Osborne, Carlton Issues, The Scottalites, The Wailers, Burning Spear, Dennis Brown, just a great reggae compilation. Uh, and then that Green Sleeves, uh, Ganja Anthems. So I missed the 420 release, I guess. Uh, so that is it for the record store day stuff that's coming out for June 18th. We're going to have those integrated in. There is a ton of record store day releases down here, too. Uh, coming back to, you know, the Jay Bennett of Wilco, you're going to find the Doors box set. Dillinger Escape Plan, Judas Priest on color vinyl. So there are still some of the April releases that are going to be available in case you missed the first record store day or just got into it. Uh, again, Saturday, June 18th, check out Culture Shock for our 16 year anniversary party, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Of course, the record store day records are here. If you've got a question about anything, drop us a message or comment on our social media. We will do our darndest to get back to you. Uh, and of course, also at cultureshockshop.com, the Record Store Day releases will be out June 19th. But you can get our regular weekly releases and pre-order upcoming releases on the site as well. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this Record Store Day rundown. Watch me geek out about all these records. We appreciate it. Cheers, guys.